Hello and welcome to Getting Jiggy with Josie, where we find contestants from all over the UK in the hope to find love. Today we've got three extremely hot chicas and one little piggy on the market. So why don't we get to meet these girls? Hi, my name's Katie. I'm a hairdresser from Bristol and I'm looking for someone tall, dark and handsome. Hi, I'm Trace, like you carry. I'm a waitress and I'm looking for someone that's pretty hot but that can also make me laugh. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm a personal assistant and run my own cake business on the side. I'm really just looking for someone who's nice who I can have a nice time with. So we've got Sarah, Trace and Katie all looking to find love today. So let's meet these hot chicas. Sarah, I'm going to start with you. Hi, um, Josie. Hello. I've uh, been reading my cue card and it looks like you've got a very, very weird celebrity crush. Oh. Can you remember what you said? <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> now, what is it about Anthony Hopkins that actually does it for you? Probably the older man, distinguished, experienced, and a true gentleman. Right, so you're looking for a true gent. Let's I hope am. we can match Anthony Hopkins today. I, I'm, I'm sure we could possibly match Anthony Hopkins. I'm, he's, he's a bit of a looker. I he know. Trays. Trays. Teresa. Trays. Teresa. Teresa. But trays. Trays. OK, got it. <laughs> trays, now, if you were to win this date tonight, there is a free bar. Oh. But I'm not sure whether that is a good idea. Do you want to explain to us what happened last time you were at a free bar, babe? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I drank too much. Yeah. Needed to like be sick, as happens sometimes when okay. you drink too much. But on the way to the toilet, someone stopped me for a picture, and I always say yeah to a photo, obviously. Oh, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I ended up projectile vomiting on someone that I worked with, and I, they didn't really appreciate it too much. Right, so if you win tonight, can you promise not to take advantage of the free cocktails because oh. we cannot have you projectile vomiting over our cameraman I'd, and your date. All I'll right? try and make it to the toilet, I promise. Lovely. <laughs> and uh, at last, we've got Katie. Katie, I am loving, loving, loving your nickname. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, um, many years ago, I used to waitress and um, I stayed over at my manager's house because I was so drunk I couldn't get home on my own. Um, so he took do? me home with him. <laughs> And when he woke me up in the morning to see if I was OK, he said I looked like a gore monster. Um, and it's stuck and ever it since. And it's stuck ever since. I love it. <laughs> right, gore monster. <laughs> I've got to ask you what happened on your last date. Never turned up, did he? No, I got pied. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you think that was? Oh, probably because... I don't know, I do talk too much, maybe. Do you think the gore monster was a little bit too much for yeah, him? Yeah, I think he just couldn't couldn't handle the gore monster, so yeah, he pied. Should we? <laughs> You've been pied off, but maybe not tonight. <laughs> Should we bring in your potential date? Yeah, bring it on. Let's bring him in. What? What? Hi, my name's TJ, um, I'm 39 years old, I'm from Bristol. I'm currently working in the TV and film industry, doing a bit of acting, doing a bit of producing, and uh, I'm here to, here to go on some dates, apparently. Uh, I know TJ through working with him in Bath, the salon in Bath. Uh, he's very, very lovely. He's um, like a big pirate man child, uh, but he's very kind, very funny. I guess my, my dream in, in dating now probably is to find someone that I actually get on well with, that I can spend some time with, that can uh, have some fun with me, someone that likes dogs, very important. If anyone doesn't love Polaroid, then that's game over straight away. But he's really good at securing a second date, so we just need to keep them a bit longer, don't we? So TJ's type is very nice, bit of a pastry model, but pretty gormless. So he definitely goes for the model type. And he's very fun-loving, so because he only goes for nice people. But I would love it if he could pick someone based on their personality. My, my love life's normally pretty good, um, but it, it's, it's finding the it's finding the keepers, I suppose. I, I think all the relationships, uh, the girls I tend to meet, either just come out of relationships or um, are just looking for something casual and you know not something a bit more long-term. Um, I guess I'd like to, you know, I'd like to meet the love of my life. Um, yeah, is it ever? I got twenty dollars in my pocket. And we got the man himself, TJ. And I gotta say, TJ, I don't feel that we're seeing the full potential of your outfit today. Can somebody get this cape removed? <laughs> wow! Look <laughs> at Thank that! You. Look at that! I tell you what else I love. This. Ticka, 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 ticka. <laughs> Does it tickle? 
Um, sometimes. All right, OK. I won't elaborate on that anymore. But um, here, TJ, I've got to ask. Yeah. How important is your mother when it comes to dating? Well, my mum's brilliant, but I try to, you know, hold her off as much as I can. Because if I introduce her to someone instantly, she's going to fall in love with them and I won't hear the end of it. So I don't want to jinx anything, you know? Oh, right. Does she jinx most of your relationships? <laughs> um, no, no, it, it, in a good way. But, you know, I don't want her to get too attached in case they don't get too attached to me, you know? Oh, babe, I'm sure these girls will get attached to you. What sort of girl are you looking for? Um, I think personality is key. So it's just someone that I can get on with, someone I can go out and have fun with. Um, obviously, so, you know, the person that's going to have the most fun with me today will probably be the person I end up choosing. And have they got to be louder than you or quieter than you? Um, if, they, if they can be louder than me, then I'd be very impressed. Right, well, let's get on to round one then, shall we? Each contestant will get the chance to sell themselves to our date, but they'll need to choose their words carefully as they'll only get 20 seconds. Let's go across to the girls where they've got 20 seconds to sell themselves to the lovely TJ. Sarah, don't undersell yourself here. You've got 20 seconds. You're starting, babe. Hi, TJ. Um, well, if you pick me, you're going to have a nice evening with me because I'm lots of fun and it's guaranteed to have a good evening out, um, lots of laughs and good fun time. Wow. <laughs> she sounds like a lot of fun there, TJ. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. So how do you think that went? Um, it's, it was fun. Really? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Lovely. Trace, you've got 20 seconds. Well, first of all, I also get called TJ, so I think that's a bit of a coincidence why you should choose me. I'm loud, probably louder than you, so I'll give you a run for your money. OK. And guaranteed to just have a lot of laughs. I'm a bit ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. What do you reckon? Yeah, that sounded good. Yeah? Yeah. Hitting the spot? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, ticka, 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 ticka. <laughs> <laughs> and Katie, we got 20 seconds from you, babe. Hello, TJ. Um, well, my name's Katie, obviously. Um, I'm really loud, outgoing, and a little bit crazy, and I do talk a lot. So I think if you choose me tonight, we'll have a really fun night. Brilliant. Love it. What do you reckon of that one, TJ? <laughs> yeah, there's options. Yeah, like all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we get you to the reveal room where you can unravel one of these options? Okay. We are in the reveal room where we've just come from round one. Each woman had 20 seconds to explain herself. TJ, you could take your mask off now, Han. Great. Nobody can hear you in here. And we've got no, we're lady free. Right, so they've just had 20 seconds to explain themselves to you. Yep. You're allowed to unravel a piece of the jigsaw which shows a tiny bit of their face. OK. Who are you going to unravel after that round? Um, so I think, the, I think the one that I kind of resonated the most in the first round is probably Trace. Trace? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to see a bit of Trace? Yeah, why not? Let's see a bit of Trace. Ooh. <laughs> OK. Like it's a kind of like ready or Yep. Yeah. There's definitely some hair colour in there. I mean, it's getting jiggy with Josie and it's not catchphrase, but say what you see. Um, yeah, I, I, can, I can see some hair, I can see a bit of a nose. Would you say the hair colour's doing it for you? Um, yeah, I think it's, I, I, I like the colour. What colour do you normally go for? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, not picky? No. Well, that's all right then. Um, OK, then, let's get you on to the next round. Yeah, OK. And we'll unravel some more. Great. Spin the bottle. Each contestant will land on a different challenge, getting our daters up close and personal in different scenarios, including dance, touch and taste. We're at our favourite part of the show, round two, where we get to play Spin the Bottle. Right, let's have a little spinny of this. Katie, you'll go first. And you are doing touchy-feely. Touchy-feely with the TJ. <laughs> Right, here we've got our lovely touchy-feely round where we've got Kate, otherwise known as the Gore Monster, caressing the lovely TJ. Now, Kate, let's see if the Gore Monster's got what it takes to make the TJ tickle. So I just want you to place your hands there and give him the best massage of his whole life, making one that he'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding that, TJ? Oh. Is it nice? <laughs> Getting quite deep. Why don't you just caress his neck and come up here? Because I love, want to show you something. Oh. There's a bit of a tickler. <laughs> wow, it is it's a tickler, isn't it? Tickler. Yeah. It's a bit Go, up a <laughs> <laughs> Go up a tiny bit more and see what else you find. Up on down. Oh, <laughs> wherever you want to go, babe, wherever you want to go. <gasps> Anything goes on this show. 
I think that's enough for you then, TJ, because I think you're getting a little bit hot under the yeah, colour there, I aren't thought, you? Yeah, that was, that was good. <laughs> Why don't we move on to the next round? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's enormous. I'm going to ask you which one you're going to be sending home first. You should choose me. I'm loud, probably louder than you, so I'll give you a run for your money. Okay. And guaranteed to just have a lot of laughs. Tell you what else I love. This tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick. <laughs> does it tickle? Um, sometimes. Go up a tiny bit more and see what else you find. Up on down. Oh, <laughs> wherever you want to go, babe. Wherever you want to go. Mm. <laughs> Anything goes on this show. We are back to the party of spin the bottle, and now we've got to find out the fate of trays. Spinny, spin, spin. Oh look, where is it gonna go? Oh, show us your move! Oh. <laughs> Is that part of the show where we let the bodies do the talking? Is show us your moves. Take it away, TJ. I want you to show Trace the best moves you've got. Our last and final spin the bottle. What's it gonna be for the lovely Sarah and TJ? The taste test! Woo! <laughs> Next up, we've got the taste test where things are gonna get really, really fruity. Right, TJ. Hello. I want you to grab one of those right in front of you, babe. Right in front of you. Grab one. That's it. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. Sarah. Hello. Could you grab one of those right in front of you? Yeah, that's the one. Oh that's my brilliant. goodness, it's enormous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you haven't even met him yet, but there, there we go. Um, right. What I need you to do is try and feed each other your pieces of fruit. So I want you to find TJ's mouth, Sarah. TJ, I need you to find Sarah's mouth. Can I use my hand as a guidance? You can use whatever you want. <laughs> there you go. There we go. I got, I got the arm. Oh, you're actually doing very well. Like... <laughs> I forgot I have to eat as well. That is lovely. Great. Is she trying to swallow it? <laughs> I forgot to chew. <laughs> 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 God, I, I think I would have ruined your really? makeup. <laughs> um, how did you enjoy getting your chops around that? That's, I thought it was great. Oh, I really enjoyed that. You really Tasty. Mm. Really? Yeah? I think I might have bitten you. It's, it's better than a kangaroo's <laughs> testicle as well, so fantastic. <laughs> I think we've had enough. So after that round, who are you going to unravel? Um, oh, sorry, you can take your blindfold <laughs> off. There's thanks. no ladies in here. <laughs> um, so um, I, th I think the it's so probably between like the dancing and the, and the strawberries. Let's go with the strawberries. Is Sarah? Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see a bit of Sarah? Yeah. Let's unravel Sarah. What do you think there, TJ? That's a nice. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming she's got two eyes in real life. She has indeed. Yeah, um, fantastic. It's good. A good eyebrows. Yeah, great eyebrows. And yeah. what do you think of that eye? It's, it's the it's a very pretty eye. You a fan of brown eyes? Um, yeah, everyone loves a brown eye girl. And what about the forehead? <laughs> nice forehead. Like, yeah. Not too shiny. Nice, not like mine. Yeah. Right, why don't we get you on to the final round? Let's do it. Each contestant will be put to the test with three quickfire questions to see if their answers match up with our data. We've got three gorgeous ladies, but to help TJ out, we're going to have a quickfire round. Sarah, ready Hello. and waiting? Hello, ready as you are. Right, tidy or messy? Oh, messy. Oh. No. <laughs> Tidy. No, you what can't change it first. No. <laughs> uh, millionaire but single or in love but broke? In love but broke. Oh. 
And uh, beard or clean shaven? Beard. What did you think of that one? <laughs> yeah, that's what, good. Yeah? Yeah. Trays, on to you next. Right, I'm ready. Right, sporty or supporter? Supporter. Stay near home or explore the world? Explore the world. Dogs or cats? Neither. <gasps> dogs, dogs then, dogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about these answers? Well, I do have a dog. We forgot oh. to mention the dog, didn't we? <laughs> did you? Do you want to explain your dog? But I'm a dog. You he's take him everywhere with you, do you? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, uh, does your dog help you get the ladies? Um, he's more of like a second date kind of dog, you know? <laughs> I see, I see. Over to you now, Katie. Hey. We've got a coffee catch-up or evening drinks? Evening drinks. Beauty or brains? Beauty. <laughs> Beach holiday or city break? Beach holiday. Mm. And how did you think that went? <laughs> the plot thickens. The plot thickens, yes it does. I think we need to get you in the reveal room. I think that's a great idea. Let's go. We are back in the reveal room for our final time. TJ, remove your mask. There's no girls in here. Right, how did you get on after that quick fire round? Yeah, it was good. That was probably the most revealing. Yeah? Yeah. And who are you going to reveal? Um, let's go with Katie. Katie? This time. Yeah, let's, you know, we're even out. <laughs> Just being polite, are you? Oh, maybe. Let's have a little look at Kate. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like what you see? Well, it's more of a face now, isn't it? So. Liking what you see? Yeah, she looks pretty. Nice lips. <laughs> nice bit of lipstick. Great, great lips. Fantastic bottom eye there. Good side nose. Right, TJ, you've unraveled all three girls. It's now time to get picking. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> We are at the point of the show where TJ gets to potentially pick the love of his life. And I need a new wedding at TJ, all right? Right, OK. Right, before you make up your decision, yeah. I want to hear a few more words from the girls. So, Sarah, have you got any words for TJ? I just want to say, if you're after a fun-loving girl that you're up for a laugh with, I'm your girl. And I just hope next time I'm feeding you food, I might not be blindfolded. <laughs> That's a good answer. Trace? Um, well, I want to get a chance to show you a few more of my moves and to be able to see yours, so let's have a date. Nice. <laughs> Katie. If you choose me tonight, I know we're going to have a great time. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's going to be hard. Now, this show is brutal, TJ. Right. I'm going to ask you which one you're going to be sending home first. So this is the first lady out. Harsh. I know, it's harsh. It's harsh, but somebody's got to go, I'm afraid. I, th I think just because she's, she's kind of had a hesitated on the whole dog thing, so I think oh. maybe she doesn't like dogs. Oh. And, um, my dog is my life, so it's going to have to be Trey's. Oh, Trey's. I'm really, I'm really sorry, Trey's. Yeah, you messed up on the doggy question. Like dogs, I then. know, I'm um, sorry. Plus, you know, oh. feel like dogs. Trey's, unravel your mask, and this is what you could have had. Oh. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh thanks, oh, mate, have a Sorry, Trey's. It's all right. Have fun. Oh, bye, Trey's. Lovely bye. to have you on the show. Thank you. Right. Really mean, We've got it? two girls remaining. We've got Sarah and Katie, and even I'm feeling tense. Right. <laughs> TJ, yep. which girl are you sending home next? Um, oh, I think just based on the maybe, I think just based on the last questions, yep. I think I'm gonna send um, Katie home. <gasps> Katie, we weren't seeing that coming. Katie, can you Sorry, unravel Katie. your mask? Oh. This is what you could have gone home oh, with tonight. No. Look at the moustache. <laughs> yeah, so impressive. Oh. I'm devastated. Oh, babe. Goodbye. It's Sorry, fine. Katie. Sleep well. So we've got one winner left. Let's get her down. I cannot wait to unite these two. We're going to send them on a date tonight. Now, guys, after the count of three, I need you to remove your masks, OK? Yeah, OK. Right. One, two. Three. Hey! Oh, you guys do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so strange. I know. How's it going? Yeah, good. You good? Yeah, really good. good. Thank you. Thank you, so do you. Very smart. All right, well, should we go? Yeah, let's go. All right, come on. <laughs>
the show went, um, I thought the show went fantastic today. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the show went really good. I was really nervous to begin with, but actually it was really good fun and um, I really enjoyed it, yeah. Dave is brilliant. Um, we've got a lot of things in common. Um, I, I, I think if, if it was someone that I was going to go on a date with again, and, um, which, I, which I actually hope we do, and if we see each other again, um, I, you know, I think she'd get on well with lots of my friends, and I think, I think my friends would like her, which is an important thing. I'm really pleased with the outcome. He seems like a really nice guy, so I'm looking forward to finding out a bit more about him. So I've showed her a picture of the dog already, so I think she seems quite excited to meet him. Yes, I'm really looking forward to meeting his dog. The yeah, outcome from today, um, I, hope I'll, I hope I'll see Sarah again. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll take it from there, I guess. I think we're going to swap numbers and we might go out for a few more drinks and see where the night takes us. Yeah.